Hello and welcome to this IP integration demonstration video. In this video, I will be showing you how to build an IVR or flow, including the recording and the uploading of the IVR announcements. Just as a note, all work will be completed using the same Chrome browser. To begin, I log into my Genesis Cloud. I click on Admin. I then go to the Architect area and I will select Architect. I will wait for the Architect to now load, which we can now see on the screen. And I'm presented with the menu of the different flows that I can create, including outbound calls, bot flows. I'm using inbound for this particular demo. I click the add button and I give the flow a name. In this instance, I'm going to call it demo flow. I then can give a description of my demo. So this is a demo flow. And then I can choose the default language and the division or the area in which I would like this flow to be placed into. I click create and now we can see that the architect has opened up a whole new inbound call flow for me. And now I'm presented with the initial greeting or menu prompt. I can use pre-recorded prompts or I can use text to speech, which you can see on the screen I'm using at the moment. So my menu is option one, route to a queue, option two, extension dialing, option three, speak to Jordan. I check the options for menu and also speech recognition. I now click on the transfer to ACD button and drag that across into my menu. I select DTMF tone one, as that will be the option that the customer will be pressing. I select a queue. I start typing the name of my queue and I select it. I can then add my pre-transfer audio and also my file transfer audio. This again, I will be using text to speech. As you can see, I've got priorities and preferred agents that I could be using, the language of the skills and failure output options. And now menu option one is completed. I drag and drop dial by extension into my main menu. I select DTMF option two, as again, this is what the customer will be using. For the extension dial name, I select variable, as I'm gonna use my variable as the container to hold the information given to me by the customer. And this is just a unique name. I can say the interdigit timeout. And then also, lastly, I do my transfer audio again. For option three, I'm using tasks. I drag and drop the task and I tell it that I'm using DTMF tone three. So now on the right hand side of the screen, we have a start. We can now start building up a visual call flow. On the left hand side, you see a wealth of tools that we can use as an architect. So I can use logical decisions, I can loop, I can also call up bot flows, and I can also get audio. I can use prompts. So here I'm gonna drag and drop my audio I drag and drop that into the start menu. And then from here, I can now right click and say that I would like to build a audio sequence. I don't have a prompt and therefore I'm now going to recall one using my browser. I click the create prompt. I give my prompt a name, so demo prompt. I give it a description if I want to. And then once I've completed that, I click create prompt. Once I've created the prompt, I can now click to add audio. Here, I click Add Audio, and I can now either upload or record from the browser direct. I'm going to record from the browser direct, so I click on Record from the browser. And the Record button comes up, I click Start Recording, this is and my now test record message. my announcement I would like to hear, and I can play it back. This is my test message. Once I'm happy, I click Upload, and this will now upload into the system. As you can see, it's processing the audio, and now it's telling me it's got 3.5 seconds of audio recording. I now click close and that's it. My prompt is now been created and has been added to the system. So now I need to get this call passed to Jordan. I scroll down, I click transfer to a user. I drag and drop that. And now I start to type in the user that I would like to transfer this call to. For this demo, I'm using Jordan, so I select Jordan. I say whether or not I would like to use Jordan's voicemail, should he not answer. And I insert a pre-transfer and a fail transfer audio text to speech. I now drag and drop the transfer to a group, and this is just in case the, the previous transfer fails. I select my group that I would like to use, and then I put in a, both a pre transfer and a fail transfer, again using text to speech. The final fail safe, I drag and drop transfer ACD should the last two previous transfers have failed. I click on Q. I start typing in the name of the queue that I would like to transfer to, and I select it. Again, as always, I put in my pre-transfer audio and my file transfer audio using text-to-speech. And now, for the final piece, I select toolbox and I add 
the disconnect right at the very end. And once I'm happy, I go up to the top and I click publish. This will also validate first and any errors would come up and show me and wouldn't be published. And now it's published. That's it. Everything's done. And we can now start routing calls to this call flow. Thank you very much for watching this video.